My name is Dr. Tred Rissacker, and let me tell you, I suffer with neuropathy. Uh, it happened about seven years ago. It was from being overweight. I didn't realize it was neuropathy. It started out as this really, really sharp pain in my left foot, right in the instep, the, you know, the uh, arch of my foot. I literally had thought I had stepped on a hot, like, like a poker, like, like, a, like a sharp stick. It was so painful. And uh, brought me right to my, I brought me right to my knees. I sat down and I took off my shoe and I said, man, I didn't know what happened to my foot. Uh, I, I thought it had come from my back that it was a, uh, a radiation from sciatica. As a chiropractor, uh, you have a tendency of thinking everything comes from the back. And, you know, and the pain uh, subsided in a couple of weeks. The pain got better. And it, it basically turned into numbness on my big toe and my other two toes. And I really didn't know why it happened, and I didn't know that it was neuropathy, although I was overweight. I was uh, 265 pounds. I was 52 years old, and I had a 40-inch belly. And uh, I lost the weight, corrected the type 2 diabetes, and the neuropathy didn't go away for me in the beginning. Uh, it was really tough and difficult, and today I still have some numbness in my feet and toe, uh, from that earlier time, and I, I struggle with it, you know, and uh, I think it's important to know that, uh, you know, if you're overweight and you have too much body fat and you're starting to get numbness or tingling in your feet, we call it neuropathy. And uh, as a result of that, I've dedicated my practice and my life uh, to helping people lose weight quickly, and uh, you can help heal yourself from things like neuropathy. Now, my neuropathy happened before I had lost, before I had become diabetic when I was overweight. Uh, and as a result of losing the weight, because I did, it made it much better. It's not getting worse. It stopped it, but I wasn't able to completely heal my foot. And I, like I said, I struggle with it today. So I work in Stewart, Florida, and my name is Dr. Tred Rissacker. And my office is called the Slim Body Laser Spa. And as I told you, I struggled with losing weight for years until I found a solution, and that is using an FDA-cleared laser lipo device that can target problem areas. We can reduce fat, and it gave me and my clients, because I did it myself, the results that I needed after only nine sessions in three weeks. Uh, and that is for body sculpting. I then ate better for the next three months to drop 10 pounds a month. And at the end of the third month, I was down uh, 30 pounds. And uh, it was, to say I felt better is an understatement. And uh, my program is called Dr. Tread's Ultimate Laser Weight Loss System. And I can help you to mitigate and even rid yourselves of symptoms stemming from being overweight. And there is no harsh dieting and there are no strenuous exercise. And I really mean that. So let's talk about neuropathy. Uh, neuropathy is something which affects a lot of people. And it's, it's, it's described in the literature as numbness, tingling, pain, uh, you know, contractures, tightening of your feet, hands. It typically affects your feet and your hands first. And that's because your feet and your hands are the farthest from your heart. It's a, it can be a circulatory problem. It can also be from having high blood sugar because sugar is poisonous to the bloodstream and poisonous to the arteries and ve vessels. Diabetes is a vascular disease. So the feet, the ending of your toes, they suffer first and maybe your hands also. It can also come from chemotherapy uh, being, you know, from the drugs that are involved with chemo, people get neuropathy from that. And it can also come from spinal cord pathology, such as, you know, spinal spondylosis, disc problems, just basically arthritic backs. Uh, when you start to have all that arthritis, it, it closes off the nerve supply in your back, and that can cause the ends of your feet to suffer with lack of nutrition from, the, from what they call the trophic nerve supply. So, you know, three main causes, uh, blood sugar from diabetes, chemo, drugs, chemicals you might have taken for health reasons or for fun, you know, like alcohol. And the other one is uh, the third reason would be spinal pathology, uh, such as what you might consider a bad back or an arthritic back over time. Uh, as you get older, it starts to affect those nerves. 
It's also a very common disorder for overweight people. And it affects the nerve system in different ways. So there's several types of symptoms that describe uh, it affects the nerves and the nervous system. But the most common symptom is overly sensitive nerves in your feet, chronic pain, and problems with the sensation of touch or numbness. So uh, in the very beginning, it can be pain and, and it jumps around from, from toe to toe or it, it moves to the back of your leg. Sometimes it goes down into the feet. It's also going to be described as somebody who is walking and they feel like they have a, a pad under their feet, like they're walking on top of, of a pad. It's, it's, it's a numbness. And another symptom of, of neuropathy is uh, sensitivity, like with the blankets and the sheets at night when you sleep, you got to kick them off because they, uh, they irritate you or they're, they just, they're uncomfortable. And also shoes start to feel like they're too tight. Uh, there's pressure on your feet. When you're sitting for a while, they'll start to throb and pound. Those are all symptoms of neuropathy. So it's very, very common. And in this context, we're dealing with the neuropathy that comes from being overweight and having high blood sugar or diabetes. Now what happens is when you have overweight, you have diabetes or have blood flow issues because of fat buildup in the arteries, this can create this lack of circulation in your feet. Of the 30 million Americans who have peripheral neuropathy today, the most common type that affects the peripheral nervous system are people who are diabetic or even pre-diabetic and are overweight. This is according to the Foundation for Peripheral Neuropathy. It's also estimated that 60 to 70 percent of all people that have been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes have some form of neuropathy even if they're not aware of it. It typically involves the feet and the toes. And I can tell you there's a lot of treatments for neuropathy but most of them don't really address the cause so maybe you've been taking prescription medication like gabapentin, Neurontin, or Lyrica. I mean, that's the common standard when you walk into the, uh, to the uh, neurologist's office. They give you uh, doses of these, these drugs. And they, they work temporarily, some of them. And some of them don't work at all. But, you know, I would say they get less than greater results. Or maybe you've tried a wide range of different modalities, like you see, you see it advertised all the time. Uh, maybe you've been uh, tried electrostimulation, the rebuilder machine. Maybe you've tried the Bimmer, red light, or even magnetic therapies. Uh, the problem with a lot of these therapies is they only reduce your symptoms, but they're not really addressing the cause if that cause is coming from being overweight. So odds are good that you've also tried some more common natural treatments. And these things can help, but they, you know, only for mild cases. Things like vitamin supplements, mainly B vitamins, can be beneficial for neuropathy. Uh, cayenne pepper uh, types of uh, applications of, of pain solves and things you put on your, your skin. There's been a lot of people using CBD uh, without the uh, THC, and they, they, they claim it works. I didn't notice any change in my clients that told me they used it. Uh, you could also try quit smoking because smoking is a peripheral, help, affects your uh, blood flow. Or you could also start exercising more. There's plenty more treatments to help with the painful symptoms of neuropathy, but I'm really interested in getting to the cause of the problem while I treat the symptom, right? So if you're on any of these medications, if you're trying to tr mitigate and, and trying to lessen the symptoms, you also, and you're overweight, you got to get that weight off, man. It's really, really important if you want to overcome this neuropathy and, and heal from it. Or at least stop it where it is, because remember, it's chronic and progressive. Uh, neuropathy gets worse. Uh, and uh, one of the ideas here at the Slim Body Laser Spa is you can lose weight and get fit and uh, lessen your blood sugar and eat better. In, uh, by coming in for the uh, ultimate laser weight loss plan. There's no extreme dieting involved and there's no strenuous exercise at my, you know, my laser lipo plan. So you don't have to cut, you don't have to go cold turkey or you don't have to go on any extreme diets uh, for the Dr. Treads laser lipo plan. So let me explain how my laser lipo treatment can help. Poor circulation and increased blood fat or increased triglycerides or cholesterol content 
are two or three of the main factors that contribute to neuropathy. By lowering your fat content in your blood and keeping your arteries clear of fatty acid buildups is much easier if you are of a normal weight. The more your overall body mass BMI decreases, you know, if you're up in the 30s or 35 percent, that's considered obese, or even 28, 27 percent. If you can decrease that, the intensity of your neuropathy symptoms will most likely start to subside. At my Slim Body Laser Spa, I offer a three week treatment plan for overweight people trying to lose weight quickly. In only nine laser lipo sessions, you'll see at least a three inch reduction in your subcutaneous fat bulges in any area of the body. My laser can target your belly, your thighs, your arms, and your backs. We can reduce fat in those areas where it collects most often. At the same time, while you're in for the, 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 the laser plan, we're also going over your nutrition. I'm going over your meds that you're on. I'm a doctor. And uh, we're looking to make common sense suggestions and set a goal or a plan so you can start to feel better and maybe lessen some of the meds you're on. And that's a gift because the statistics show that over time you will be put on more medication unless you address the cause. 98% of my clients after three weeks who complete my program at the Slim Body Laser Spa are satisfied with how they look and feel. By reducing your weight quickly, you can prevent some of the worst symptoms in the future and get back to feeling like yourself again. You know, I had a recent client at my spa and she said, uh, having lost six and a half inches in three weeks, I'm pleased with my laser treatment. It has also given me an incentive to lose more inches and to stay with a healthier program. She says, I'm looking and feeling great and it's because I started at the Slim Body Laser Spa. Shaping your body and losing inches of fat off your frame without diet or exercise is not just about looking good in a bikini or, or you know or looking great at the golf course it's about creating good health good nutrition and and movement these habits will help you keep the weight off and avoid painful conditions like neuropathy Hey, if you're interested in finding out more about what I do, coming in for a free consultation, you can contact me at the Slim Body Laser Spa today to schedule your free consultation. I thank you for your attention and have a great day.